So in the previous two videos, we've looked at how you can solve a quadratic equation firstly by uh, factorising and then by completing the square. The final option open to you is by using the quadratic formula. Okay? And the quadratic formula is not going to be given to you. It is one you need to remember. Okay? It isn't something that I would say is um, a suggestion. Okay? This is one I really think you have to have in your toolkit. So the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay? And for this, okay, we're going to have a is 2, b is 4, and c is minus 1. So x is equal to minus b, so that's minus 4, plus or minus b squared is 16, take away 4 lots of a times c. So 4 lots of 2 is 8, uh, 8 lots of minus 1 is minus 8, so take away minus 8 is plus 8, all over 2 lots of a, so that's 4, so we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 24, all over 4. Now square root of 24 was uh, 2 root 6, okay? So we have minus 4 plus or minus 2 root 6 over 4, which you can write as minus 4 divided by 4 is minus 1, plus or minus 2 over 4 is a half root 6, okay? So, um, what you have there, so just making sure that we're all right with that, uh, minus 1 plus, I'll put 5 times root 6, just thinking about sketching it, um, so that's positive, okay, so in sketching this curve, um, so we've got minus 1 plus or minus half root 6, so something like this. We've got minus 1 uh, take away a half root 6 and minus 1 plus a half root 6. Okay? So that is what the parabola would look like sketch-wise. So in all of this, this has told us um, where the curve crosses the x-axis and it is at these two points. Okay? So that is how the quadratic formula can be used to do this. Okay? You should be comfortable using the quadratic formula um, and now having done SIRDs, uh, simplifying the SIRD down to make it into this format.